What is going on guys and today I'm here with something you guys have been requesting so much as of late and I actually can't believe I haven't done this already. We are doing a two team my league rebuild challenge so it's going to be two teams you go out it's actually a lot harder than you think but you guys have been requesting the Celtics to do a lot and the Lakers so I'm going to be doing those teams for the, this two team rebuild challenge and if this video can get over 500 likes I will come out with another two team rebuild challenge and let me know in the comments if you guys like this idea or not. Um, it's been done around YouTube. Well, so we're gonna do all user teams and yeah so uh let's download our 2016 draft class and if you guys are not already following me on twitter i'm letting you guys know this video is coming out today on twitter so twitter.com slash six steel if you guys want to keep up to date with that stuff and my snapchat uh it's just six rings of steel and yeah so let's get into this so we have the celtics and the lakers the celtics are loaded with picks the lakers don't even have their first round pick so i'm gonna see if i can make a trade with the sixers to get the lakers first round pick but i don't know if it's gonna uh work out uh, no, I want the Lakers first rounder. Okay, I would have to give up. Okay, I'm not trading DeAndre Russell. He's an untouchable. What if I gave up my uh, 2017 first rounder and, like, a Lou Williams? Would they do this? We're going to be seeing the 76ers want to do this trade. A 2017 first round of Lou Williams for our pick this year and Kendall Marshall. And they do agree to that. Okay, so we get our first round pick back this year. Hopefully, we're doing terrible um, as what I would expect. Uh, Kobe's last year. Do I want to trade anybody else on this team? Uh, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to try to get rid of Nick Young, and then we'll go over to the Celtics after this. So, let's see. Grievous Vasquez, is he on, like, no option? Uh, no, he's on a two-year player option. What is, oh, no, no. I was looking at Nick Young. Um, okay, so Grievous Vasquez could be somebody. Jarrett Smith, but I don't want to trade another first round pick. Avery Bradley and Jordan Mickey. I don't get this game sometimes. I, oh, wait, no, no, this is with my Celtics. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm not doing that. I realized uh, I was like what the hell uh, Raymond Felton now, I think we're gonna do that Grievous Vasquez Yeah, let's do Grievous Vasquez and just get an expiring deal And now let's go over to the Celtics see if we want to make any moves for this year So we have a plethora of first round picks. We have the Celtics Nets and Mavericks. I Kind of want to see what I can get for uh, Evan Turner because I don't think he's gonna be coming back and same with Amir Johnson uh, yeah, I'm not going to be bringing back Amir Johnson, that 12 million player option. I'd rather go after somebody in free agency, maybe like a Michael Beasley or Marvin Williams. So a Chris Middleton could be a nice option from the Bucks. Chandler Parsons, Thaddeus Young, Enos Kanner. Uh, can I get Steven Adams, actually? Uh, I, actually, I want to go to the Clippers. I want to see if I can get DeAndre Jordan. Let's see it. Uh, let's go to the Clippers. DeAndre Jordan for Amir Johnson, Evan Turner, and a future 2018 Nets first round pick. Will they do that? Uh, we have too many players, or they would. Would they do this? Yes, they do. Okay, so we get the Andre Jordan, which is a pretty big acquisition for this team. Uh, and now that I did that, I'm going to trade Kelly Olenek. And then that'll be it for season one with everything. So let's see what we can get for Kelly Olenek. And yeah, that'll be it for season one. Bonus year up, Kelly Kellyonic. I'm going to be acquiring Rodney Hood and Jeff Whitney from the Utah Jazz. And that is going to be all the moves I make for season one. I'll see you guys at the end of season one and we'll find out what both teams did. End of season one, and Russell Westbrook takes home the MVP. Carl Anthony Towns takes home rookie of the year. Joe Keep Noah, six man. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. CJ McCollum, most improved. Bill Donovan, coach of the year. It's the usual stuff. Brooke Lopez made all NBA first team. That's pretty surprising. Drummond, Griffin, Wade, Curry. Curry made all NBA second team, not first team. Willard made first team. Okay, what he average? He averaged 28 a game, damn, and nine assists. Reggie Jackson made third team. Jimmy Butler. Okay. Okay, all right. So, we as the Celtics made the playoffs, and the Lakers did not. Uh, the Celtics went 43 and 39, enough for the eighth seed. And the Lakers, uh, yeah, 19 and 63. We're going to have the number one odds of the first pick. And then for the Celtics. The Nets somehow won 32 games, uh, and the Mavericks were the second worst seed, so we do have the Mavericks pick. So I think we have the projected one and two picks. Uh, we'll check out the player stats for the Celtics. Isaiah Thomas averaged 23 and 8. He was a beast. Avery Bradley 13, uh, 2. Only 1.7 assists. Um, Rodney Hood 13 off the bench. Jay Crowder 12, 5, and only one assist. I thought he would get a little more maybe this year in uh, increased minutes, but Jared Sollinger 10 points. DeAndre Jordan averaged a double-double. Jordan Mickey, you know, the beast in 2K. The hidden gem is just balling out. Marcus Smart, who I probably will end up trading, um, averaged six points. 
So, uh, actually, I'll show you guys what, like, D'Angelo Russell did. D'Angelo Russell averaged 15 in his rookie year. Kobe Bryant, 15 points in his last year. Roy Hibbert averaged 11 and 6.8. Clarkson, 9 and 3. And Randall, 9 and 9. So, we're taking on the Cavs as the Celtics in the first round. It's probably going to be a sweep. But if we can win one game, I'll be happy. We're down 3-0. And we do win a game. Okay. And we do win two games. All right. So, maybe we have a, a shot here at home here in game six. Uh, but now we do not have a shot as we get blown out. We lose by 29. Um, Isaiah Thomas did all he could, but they have Kyrie and LeBron. So uh, we'll simulate the NBA Finals and see who wins it all. It's going to be a Cleveland-Golden State like in real life. And Golden State wins in five like they kind of should have in real life. But now they're going to game seven. And we're going to see what happens um, in that. So Finals MVP is Stephen Curry. All right, simulating here to the NBA Draft, seeing what picks we have. Uh, and hopefully we have the second for the Celtics and first for the Lakers. The Celtics, we got number four. All right, so we jumped down to number four. We have eight and 18, and then just so many second rounders. For the Lakers, we do have the number one pick. So uh, Ben Simmons is probably going to be coming to LA unless I want to see if I want to move it. But I don't think I'm gonna. But we'll, we'll see. We'll test out what it's looking like. Uh, Mike Conley, Kemba. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Ben Simmons on this team. Uh, Eric Bledsoe. But we do have DeAndre Russell. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Now, if we go over to the Celtics, uh, we have DeAndre Jordan. We have Isaiah Thomas. A nice buddy healed would fit in well. So let's see if I could trade Avery Bradley. Actually, I want to see if I could make a trade for Jimmy Butler right now. It's been rumored in real life. I want to see if I can get it done. If I traded the 4 and the 8 over to the Bulls for Jimmy Butler and Avery Bradley, would they do this? No. What if I throw in a bunch, um, like three seconds? They don't want to do it. Okay, so Jimmy Bower, they're valuing a lot. What if I throw in the 18th pick? So three first rounders this year and Avery Bradley, and I'll give you two seconds. Let's see. Do they want to do this? No, they're not. Okay, so they're not trading Jimmy Bower, but I wouldn't mind getting Buddy Heald on this team and moving up to that number two spot. So the 76ers have that spot, and uh, let's see. Can I give up number four and Avery Bradley for that spot? And you give me your worst player, which is Carl Landry. Yes, they do. They do that. I'm going to trade Carl Landry for just a scrap player just to clear up cap space. And I'll see you guys at the draft. So the Lakers are on the clock. And as much as I kind of want to take Ben Simmons, I'm, I'm at uh, Buddy Heald. I'm going to take Ben Simmons. And I'm going to pass on Brandon Ingram. So Ben Simmons is the first overall pick to our Lakers. Now we're going to make the number two pick with the Celtics. And I'm not going to take Brandon Ingram. I am going to take Buddy Heald and with the number two pick and he's gonna be the starting shooting guard since i treated avery bradley so that is going to be it for me now and i'll see you guys at rookie signings all right so rookie signings for the lakers we're obviously getting ben simmons who's an 80 overall now if we go to the celtics we have a lot of people with these second round picks i'm not gonna get Mal actually malcolm Brog brogdon sounds interesting to get i'm actually gonna get him uh ferkman Korkmaz, i'm gonna get and isaiah taylor i'm also gonna get we got Taran war prince from baylor right yeah from baylor uh, Chuck Diallo with the 8th pick, and Buddy Heald, of course, who's a 79. So, we signed a lot of people with that team. Team player options, Hood Smart, Whitney I'm not going to bring back, and same with uh, James Young I'll bring back, and Dawson I'm not going to bring back. And for the Lakers, let's see what we got, because you have to keep going back and forth. Julius Randle, yeah, I'm going to bring back. So, well, Bronze a free agent to Rosen. Hopefully, uh, a couple of these guys make it to free agency, and yeah, so let's see. Um, yeah, let's go past that. All right, so qualifying offers, we'll offer both of these players for the Celtics all, uh, qualifying offers, and we'll just offer Marcelo Huertas, or Her Huertas a qualifying offer as well. Uh, so let me just make sure that's all done. All right, my free agents. Jared Sollinger wants $7 million a year. Uh, we have the qualifying offer on him, so that makes him a restricted free agent anyway, so I'm not going to give him a deal. Jeff Whitney, I'm not going to bring back on that. Uh, Towers Hour, we have a qualifying offer as well. Now let's go over to free agents for the Lakers. Kobe Bryant, okay, he didn't retire. Uh -huh. I'll bring him back on a one-year $7 million deal. Jordan Clarkson, I definitely want to bring back on this team and give him a player option. Brandon Bass wouldn't be a bad idea. Roy Hibbert for $3 million, a backup center role. That's not too bad. So let's simulate past here, and now let's go to free agency. So day one, let's bring in all these guys back for the Lakers. We still have $50 million, and let's see. Do we have any for the Celtics? No, we don't. So, all right. So I'm on the Celtics right now. LeBron is here. I'm going to offer LeBron a contract for both teams. I'm going to offer him a deal on the Celtics. The same exact deal. Okay, our roster's fall. It's like, what the hell is going on? Uh, let's release Isaiah Taylor, who we just drafted. And uh, RJ Hunter. Okay, so let's go after LeBron. 
and let's see what we can get for him. Uh, we're giving him a lot of money. What do you mean my roster is full? I just released two players. Okay, I'll release one more then. I don't know what the hell is going on here. I'll release uh, Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, okay, if it doesn't let me sign LeBron here, that's just going to be annoying. And that's just going to screw me out of uh, getting LeBron on this team. Okay, no. So we can get LeBron a deal. Do I want to... I don't need point guards. Shooting guards, I don't need. Small forward if it's LeBron. Power forward is interesting. So if I gave Dirk a two-year deal with $14 million, Actually, a one-year team option worth $15 million. I don't know if he would accept it, but we'll see what he wants to. And a no-trade cause as well. Michael Beasley would be a nice guy to bring in. For a two-year deal, Tolodovich, no. Amir Johnson, I don't want to bring back. David West on a one-year deal worth like $4 million. And that would be it for now. And now let's go over to the Lakers side of things. And let's offer Mr. LeBron James um, the most we can. And a no-trade cause. Centers, let's go over to Hassan Whiteside and offer him a $20 million deal on a player option. DeRozan did not make it. I'm not going to sign D. Wade. Uh, Rondo, no. Power forward, we have Randall, and I'm going to try to sign a backup center, or not a backup, like a backup option, like a Bismack Biombo for like $9 million, and maybe like an Al Jefferson, but probably not. Uh, Pau Gasol don't want to bring back, Howard don't want to bring back. Drummond, I'll offer, but he usually gets restricted, and we'll bring in Boban Marjanovic uh, in as well. So let's simulate day one, let's see. LeBron accepts another offer, hopefully that's our Celtics steal. So we're going to be bringing in Whiteside. And we'll bring in Biombo. Uh, please tell me LeBron accept our deal. He did. Okay, so LeBron is coming to the Celtics. Okay. Uh, Michael Beasley, I'm not going to have enough. David West, I'm not going to have enough. So let's simulate here. And yeah, the Pistons match. And LeBron signs with Celtics. Dirk does sign with the Magic. So let's go. We got to make more moves with the Lakers now. Uh, Rondo, I'm going to offer a deal, but I'm going to trade him if I get him. Uh, I'm pretty sure we, we got Whiteside and Biombo, right? Okay, good. Um, so I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna trade him if I get him. Same with Al Jefferson. I'm just using these guys for trade bait uh, as of now. Like Eric Gordon, same thing. I'm gonna offer a bunch of guys deals, and I'll see you guys if they accepted them or not. All right, guys. So uh, Rondo accepts another offer. Same with Michael Beasley, but we're going to be bringing Eric Gordon, Boba Marjanovic, and Marcel Hortes back. And we have to go over to the Boston Celtics and bring Jared Sollinger back. So that's gonna be it for free agency with every team as of now. And uh, yeah. Alright guys, we're going to be upgrading the shooting guard spot and getting Chris Middleton from the Bucks for Eric Gordon and Brandon Bass. So we're going to be making that trade. And now I just want to see what I can get for Biombo on the block. And I'm going to keep Jordan Clarkson for now, but I'll probably trade him in the offseason. But I want to see what I can get for Biombo because we have four centers on the team. And if I can get a nice wing player, uh, I will take it. Rudy Gobert, that's not too bad. I think I might do that, uh, even though I, I'm just getting another center. I don't think I can pass up on Rudy Gobert as of now. Yeah, let's give Rudy Gobert. Instead of Clarkson, can I give up more Janovic instead? And what if I threw in a future first and two future seconds? Okay, they agree to that. So, I don't even know what they're, we're going to be doing with this lineup. It's going to be Russell, Kobe. No, nah, I'm going to start Middleton over Kobe. I have to if we want to win games. Um, And then we got Ben Simmons, Julius Randle, Whiteside, Gobert. Okay, so this team's looking pretty good. I think we can make an 18 in the West. And the Celtics, we got Thomas, Buddy Heald, LeBron, Jordan, Mickey, DeAndre Jordan. I'm actually going to play LeBron at power forward. And, yeah, that's going to be the lineup. And I'll see you guys at the end of Season 2. The end of Season 2, Stephen Curry wins MVP. Ben Simmons of our Lakers wins Rookie of the Year. He beats out Buddy Heald. Morrison Gortat wins Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Norris Cole most improved. Okay, I've never seen that. And he almost averaged a double-double. Damn. Norris Cole blown out in Brooklyn. And Brad Stevens of our Celtics wins Coach of the Year. Uh, let's see if we got anybody on the All-NBA teams. There is LeBron on All-NBA first team. Uh, All-NBA second team. We got nobody from the Lakers or the Celtics. All-NBA third team. No one as well. All-defensive first team. We have LeBron. I'm actually going to try to get Jimmy Butler, I think, in this offseason for the Celtics team. I really want to try to pull it off. And there's Buddy Heal and Ben Simmons. All right, so the Lakers did get the 4th seed, actually. That was a lot better than I thought. And we did get the 1 seed with the Celtics, obviously, winning 66 games. Best record in the NBA. And uh, we'll check out the Lakers, 15-32. Uh, so not too bad at at all. D'Angelo Russell balled out this year. 20 points, 6.5 assists. Ben Simmons, 6.5 uh, uh, points, 7.5 rebounds. Chris Middleton averaged a career-high 15 points. Kobe, 12 points in 
probably his last year. Julius Randle almost averaged a double double. Whiteside had nine rebounds. I'm definitely gonna trade uh, either Whiteside or Gobert. Like, uh, actually, uh, where even is Gobert? There is Gobert. Uh, but I think I'm actually. I don't even know if I want to start Gobert or Whiteside. I think we're gonna start uh, Whiteside. Yeah. So we got Russell uh, Middleton, and then we got Ben Simmons, Randle. Okay, I gotta give more minutes around here. So. Kendall Moore, sure you're not getting any minutes. Larry Nancy, you can get five. Hebert, you can get seven. Uh, these two can get 20. Uh, Gobert, you can get 26. Whiteside, you get 31. Rando, you get 30. Uh, Middleton, you get 31. And then we'll give the rest of Russell at 36. And now let's go over to our Celtics. I'll show you guys the player stats for that. LeBron, 24 points. Just a beast. He's so good. Buddy healed 17 points or about 18 points in his rookie year. So that's why I took him over Brandon Ingram. Isaiah Thomas, 17.2 and 7.5 and assists. Crowder, 9 and 5. Still couldn't get those assists up. I really want to see him. Jordan McKee, 9 and 8. He's just a beast. And uh, DeAndre Jordan had a double double. And Rodney Hood averaged 8.2 points as our sixth man or uh, seventh man behind uh, Crowder. Or wait, who started again? No, Crowder did start, right? Yeah. Uh, let's make sure these minutes are right. Towers L, you can get 5. Solinger, you can get 16. Smart, you're going to get 19. Uh, Mickey was our sixth man. Actually, no, I want to give more minutes to Hood. Uh, yeah, and then Jordan can get 30, LeBron 36, Crowder, okay, that looks about good, and yeah, so we're taking on the Hornets with the Celtics, and the Pelicans with the Lakers, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but the ultimate goal was by Season 3 for both these teams to match up in the NBA Finals, so we're going to simulate the current round and see if both teams can make it out alive, and it looks like they both are, the Celtics win a 5 and the Lakers win a 5, so the Celtics are taking on the Magic, the Lakers are taking on the Thunder, it's not looking too good for the Lakers, but we'll see, yep, they get swept, and the Celtics win in 6, okay, taking on the Hawks in the next round, let's simulate current round, and they win in 5, and the Celtics in year 2 are going to the NBA Finals, a battle of the 1 seeds, and they do win it in Season 2, okay, so the goal for Season 3 is to build up this Lakers team. And then for them to play the Celtics in the finals. That is the ultimate goal. LeBron is your finals MVP. Only averaged 16 points, but still was a beast, averaging almost 10 assists. All right, so moving to the NBA draft, this is where I'm probably going to try to make a bunch of trades. Um, I don't think I'm going to trade Whiteside. I might just look at offers, but I do kind of want to trade. Uh, we have the ninth pick from the Nets. I want to get Jimmy Butler on this Bulls team. I don't know why, but I kind of, I just really do. Uh, if I gave up the this, uh, we would be acquiring 11 million. Uh, what if we gave you Solinger? Okay, that's a lot for Jimmy Butler. What if you give me a... F Damn, they had the first overall pick. Okay, they're obviously not doing that. Wait, if I did that... They... Okay, I don't think they're gonna do this, but we're gonna try it. Yep, they're not gonna... Okay, I don't... And we don't need Jimmy Butler. Like, uh, we have a, a nice tandem of Buddy Hill, but I wanna trade Mr. Jay Crowder, actually. Um, actually, maybe we just want a champion... Oh, I get the third pick for Jay Crowder. Okay. I'd have to give up the ninth pick. Okay, there's a nice power forward to get in Derek Favors. I think I'm... No, I'm not trading Ben Simmons. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that Derek Favors trade, I think. And we're going to have uh, Solinger. All right, that's fair enough. Wait, can I do this? Like, Crowder has more trade value. Celtics would be requiring $3 million more. And what if I gave you Chuck Diallo? Jazz would have too many players. Uh, you can give me Marjanovic. And we would be acquiring $6 million over the cap, of course. Uh, Lance Thomas, sure. We'd be acquiring $4 more million. Uh, fine. You know what? Take Selinger. I don't care anymore. Uh, and then just give me Lance Thomas. And then we'll go back to the Lakers. Uh, and they agree to that. Okay, so we're going to have a nice starting lineup of Isaiah Thomas. Um, Rod, uh, no, Buddy Heald, LeBron, Favors, and then DeAndre Jordan. And now let's go over to the Lakers where we got to see what we got to do with this team because... They obviously aren't good enough to beat the Thunder as of now. So, Chris Middleton and Jordan Clarkson. Let's see what we can get. Can I just get, like, a very nice shooting guard? Uh, buddy, he'll need to join you, right? Uh, Chris Bosh, maybe? That's interesting. The fourth overall pick. Ooh. And Wesley Matthews. I think I'm going to attempt that and then try to flip Wesley Matthews. Okay, let's do that trade. Uh, let's get the fourth pick from Dallas. And let's see... If I can move Wesley Matthews and that fourth pick for like the number two pick or the number one pick. Let's see. The uh, Rockets got the number two pick. They just want Ben Simmons, Whiteside, Roy Hibbert, and my fourth pick. Okay, so let's get number two. And now I'm going to trade Wesley Matthews and I'll see you guys at the number two pick. So Harry Giles goes number one overall 
to the Bulls. And now with this pick, I'm going to take Josh Jackson, uh, shooting guard from Kansas. I think he's actually going to Kentucky in real life, and it's just wrong in this draft class. So we take Josh Jackson with the number two overall pick bring everybody back here just for roster spots for the lower tier players and here we're going to be bringing everybody back on the celtics so we do that chris paul is a free agent um i'm hoping blake griffin makes it to free agency for the lakers side of things uh but we'll see what happens qualifying offers we have none for the celtics do we have any for the lakers we do we have to give gobert and johnny o'brien okay uh so gobert is a restricted free agent so if i can get a contract done before that uh yeah he wants to test free agency kobe why have you not retired yet Oh my god, I'm not going to offer him a deal as of now, just because I want to save enough money to get like maybe like a Blake Griffin and Tyler Zeller, we can offer a deal, we don't have any money anyway. So, let's go to free agency as of now with this Lakers team, let's make a signing. We have 31 million, and damn, no, uh, there is no Blake Griffin, but there is a Giannis Antetokounmpo, there is a Paul Millsap, there is a... Okay, I'm going to offer a bunch of guys deals like a uh, CJ McCollum and a player option. Onsa de Coupo, 17 million and a player option. And I'm going to honestly just try to get a big trade for a nice power forward at this point. That's kind of what I'm going for. We have Gobert on the restricted free agent deal. Uh, we have 31 million, so I might as well spend it somewhere, even though like it might not be spots that I need just to make trades. Uh, Victor Oladipo, sure thing. Uh, Chandler Parsons, why not? I'm just offering everybody deals, pretty much. Uh, sure. And Noel, why not? Like, I just gotta spend the money, because it's the third year and final year, so we gotta get some people. And nobody accepts our deal. Giannis is mulling, so hopefully they accept. Okay, so you can see all those people don't accept. Uh, Chris, uh, CJ McCollum would've been a nice signing. And Rudy Gobert, <sighs> everybody accepted another deal. So we only have 13 million now for this Lakers team to sign somebody. That's enough for Victor Oladipo. Now, hopefully this happens. 12 million player option. We'll offer him that. Contavious Cowell Popo said we offer a deal that I have to do this. Come on, please give me Oladipo. Give me Oladipo. Let's go. We get Victor Oladipo on the team. And that's going to be for free agency in season two for both teams. And your 2016-2017 MVPs, LeBron James of our Boston Celtics. Harry Giles, the number one pick out rookie of the year. Kyle Anderson, six man. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. Jordan Clarkson, who we traded... Uh, for the fourth pick is was most improved and he had a nice season Byron Scott. Yep. The Lakers they get the one seed There's LeBron an all-nba first team 97 overall just an absolute beast uh, Did we get anybody from the Lakers on these? I don't think we did There's a bond all defense a first team. I did switch Rudy Gobert's position to power forward uh, And that was about it uh, that's all I did. I couldn't honestly find a good trade that I wanted to do. Like, I tried getting Porzingad or, like, Kevin Love for this team, and I just couldn't. Like, it was just hard. But we rolled with ben, uh, Russell and Simmons, and they carried this team to a one seed. Josh Jackson, the rookie, averaged 14. Oladipo, 11 as the sixth man. Julius Randle, 10 and 9. Uh, I think coming off the bench. Uh, let me double check that. Yeah, he came off the bench. Mo Williams, uh, averaged 8 points. Whiteside, 7.5 and, and 10. And Gobert at the power forward, 7 and 9. And they both averaged almost two blocks a game. Now, let's check out the Celtic stats. Buddy Heald uh, replicated, replicated what he did last year. Isaiah Thomas is just going down in points, but uh, he's still maintaining those uh, about eight assists. Derek Favors, 12 and 8 in his first year in Boston. Rodney Hood, 11 a game. DeAndre Jordan, 8 and 11. Uh, there's Marcus Smart stats. I didn't end up trading him in this series. Wait, what did Jordan Mickey do? Uh, 5 and 4. <laughs> So the Celtics are taking on the Bulls as an 8 seed, and the Lakers are taking on the Suns. So both 1 seeds. Let's see if we can finally match them up in the finals. And they both, uh, the Celtics sweep, and the Lakers win in 5. Okay, so let's see what happens in the second round. And the Lakers sweep, and they both sweep. Lakers versus Thunder. The Boston Celtics versus the 2 seeded Magic. So it's both, um, it's a 1-3 and three and a 1-2. and two. I kind of want to see who's on that Magic team. You guys know who's on that Thunder team. LeBron, uh, LeBron. Westbrook and Durant. They have Kyle Lowry, Vucevic, Dylan Brown. Okay, so it's a good team, but I think the Celtics will. And they have Dirk. I think the Celtics will go past this. And, yeah, so let's see here. Let's take it game by game. Game 1, uh, always simulate. The Celtics win, but the Lakers lose. Game 2. Ugh. Okay, come on. You need to win this game, LA. Yes! Okay, so it's 2-2. The Celtics swept the series. Alright, come on. Game 5. D 
Damn it, they lose. Oh, it was so close to happening. They're in the Western Conference Finals. Don't lose this. Don't lose this. Yes, and we're going to a Game 7 in the Western Conference Finals. Come on, LA. Come on. At your home court. Do it for the video, please. Let's go. And we cut both teams to make the Finals in Year 3. This is what I wanted. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's been going on in the playoff stats. DeAndre Russell and Ben Simmons are just balling out. Josh Jackson's having a nice playoff run as well. And you have LeBron, Buddy Heald, Isaiah Thomas, Rodney Hood, Derek Favors. Okay, so game one, the Lakers do win. I would like to see a game seven. And the Celtics win. Okay. The Lakers win game two. Are you kidding me? And the Celtics win game two. Come on. Okay, Celtics win game uh, five. Please, let this go to seven games. Come on, LA. I'm rooting for you in this one. No, LA win this. Yes, and they win by three, and we're going to a game seven. Okay. If I'm gonna, since the Celtics won last year, I'm controlling the Lakers, and I want to win this one with the Lakers. If uh, we have to hop in, so okay, first quarter, um, or a little bit in the second quarter, it's a three-point game. Okay, halftime, uh, the Celtics are up by six after blowing them out in the second quarter. Okay, and they're blowing them out here. No, the Celtics blow them out in Game Seven. They win by 15, and they're the NBA champions. The went to seven games, but that was my goal of the series to get both of these teams to the NBA Finals by year three. Uh, LeBron is your finals MVP, so that's going to be me for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And like I said, this can get over 500 likes. I'll do another one of these. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have a great day. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.